Hello viewers and welcome to Pharmacy D. In this video, we are going to discuss about prescription writing. This topic of discussion will help you to know what a prescription is, why it is written and how it must be written. By understanding your prescription, you can avoid errors in your medication and treatment. Let me start with what a prescription actually is. A prescription is an instruction to a pharmacist written by a physician to dispense a stated quantity of a particular drug in a specified dose. A prescription also contains instructions to the patient indicating how the drug is to be taken, how often and for how long. A prescription is abbreviated as Rx. So long as there were medications and a writing system to capture directions for preparation and usage, there were prescriptions. Modern prescriptions are actually extemporaneous prescriptions, meaning that the prescription is written on the spot for a specific patient with a specific ailment. This is distinguished from a non-extemporaneous prescription, that is a generic recipe for a general ailment. Modern prescriptions evolved with the separation of the role of the pharmacist from that of the physician. Today, the term extemporaneous prescriptions is reserved for compound prescriptions that requires the pharmacist to mix or compound the medication in the pharmacy for the specific needs of the patient. It is important for us to understand the types of prescription before we move towards how a prescription must be written. The types of prescription are number one, Simple prescription. Simple prescriptions are those written for a single component or prefabricated product and these not require compounding or admixture by the pharmacist. Number two, compound or complex prescriptions. These are written for more than a single component and requiring compounding. Number three, e-prescription or electronic prescription. The use of electronic means for the generation and transmission of prescriptions is used and accepted in some countries. Number four, inpatient prescription. A medication order form used in the hospital setting. In addition, other forms may be used within a hospital by specialized unit, such as infectious disease, cardiac care, pediatrics, and others. Drug-specific forms also may be used as for heparin dosing, electrolyte infusions, and morphine sulfate in patient control anesthesia. Number five, narcotic prescriptions. Narcotic prescriptions contain a narcotic substance or other habit-forming drugs. It must contain, in addition to the contents of the simple prescription, the address of the patient, the narcotic registry number of the prescriber. Such prescriptions should be written by ink or typewriter. The quantities of the narcotic substance must be written in words and numbers. In order to understand how a prescription must be written, we must first understand the parts of prescription that all together make it an ideal one. Number one is date, number two, superscription, number three, inscription, number four, subscription, number five, transcription, and the last one is the signature. Now I'm going to explain all these parts one by one. So the first one was the date. The date is written to know when the medicines were last dispensed and to prevent the misuse of the drug by the patient. Superscription. The part superscription contains the information about the prescriber like the name, address and telephone number and the information about the patient, full name, address, gender, date of birth, weight and height if necessary. Inscription. Inscription is the main part of the prescription. It gives the information about the name of the drug, either the generic or trade name, its formulation and unit dosage. Subscription. Subscription provides information to the pharmacist about the quantity and dosage form of the drug to be dispensed. Transcription. Transcription is the prescriber's direction to the patient contains instruction about the amount of the drug, time and frequency of doses to be taken. Last part was the signature and instructions. Prescription should be signed by the prescriber, refill instructions if needed and special instructions if any must be written down. Dear viewers, now I'm going to show you a sample of prescription that will help you understand the components of prescription in a better way. In this sample, you can see in the head region is given the information of the prescriber and the patient information. So it is the superscription part. Date is also given. The middle portion of the prescription contains the information of the name of the drug, 
dosage form of the drug to be dispensed and the instruction about the amount of drug time and frequency of doses to be taken so this is the part where inscription subscription and transcription are given in the end is given the signature and instruction part prescriptions are an important target area for improvement because lack of attention during prescription writing can lead to prescription errors which in turn can adversely affect patient's well-being prescribing errors can occur as a result of inadequate knowledge of the patient and their clinical status inadequate drug knowledge calculation errors illegible handwriting drug name confusion and poor history taking in 2017 over 4 billion prescriptions were filed at pharmacies across the united states given their share prevalence prescriptions are a key source of medical errors in fact prescription errors account for 70 percent of medication errors the two most common sources of prescription error are illegible handwriting and using of abbreviations make sure to slowly write out a legible prescription then risk your patient's health so viewers that's all about prescription writing i hope you like this video please like and subscribe to our channel pharmacy d and if you have any queries don't forget to write them down in the comment section below Thank you.